service personnel, please stand so that we can all thank you. And we're grateful that all of you are here with us today to celebrate together. We do have time for one final story. The Declaration of Independence, it gave us our freedom. But it took the Constitution to give us our nation. In 1787, the Constitutional Convention was in session, but not without problems. You see, it had been more than difficult to assemble delegates from the 13 states and, well, getting them to agree on any one thought or opinion was giving new meaning to the word impossible. Every discussion was punctuated with gossip, wrangling, and shouted arguments without end. It seemed we would have 13 independent countries rather than one United States. Well, Benjamin Franklin, who was by then 81 years old, stood and said, gentlemen, we need help. If a sparrow cannot fall without God's notice, is it probable that a nation could rise without his aid? I move that we pray. So the delegates did agree to adjourn, go home, and pray. And when they returned in the fall of that same year, they wrote in one accord, we, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Oh, oh. 